Hello, I'm Paul from Paul Futuai. Um, I'm out on a Sunday, my day off. I've got to do something a little bit different, um, as my channel is very varied, as you know. Some of you know me as an electrician, some of you know me as a camera enthusiast, and uh, I make a few videos and obviously put them on YouTube. Uh, I'm not a big channel, and I don't expect to be with the crap that I put on, but there we go. Anyway, a road was built to the north of Norwich that links the northwest to the east side of Norwich, which is a city in the UK. Mentioned in the Doomsday book if you want to uh, go and do some Google research if you don't live in the UK. And this road runs really from near where I live, right round to the east side, as I said, that will take you to Great Yarmouth and, uh, and most of the east parts of Norwich. When they built the road, it's been opened a while now, they had to take it through fields and like, like they would normally do with the road, they just sort of churn up the countryside and lay tarmac. The road had to skirt the edge of Norwich International Airport, I'll have you know, and um, it now brings you quite close to the control tower. Well, during the lockdown for, I can't say the word because it might demonetize me, but you know the lockdown I'm talking about. A lot of the air industry had to um, ground their aeroplanes and um, they were stored, because you can't get all the aeroplanes on the ground, because most of them are in the air and then they bring them down for a bit of um, maintenance. Just let this car go. We can put a jump cut in there, I'd, I'd assume. Yes, yeah, so um, as I was saying, that you can't have all the aircraft grounded all at once. So some are on the ground, some are in the air. But when it comes to something like what we've just been through, or like what we've gone through, you've got to put the aircraft somewhere. So all the municipal airports around the country had to play their part, Norwich being no exception. And so we've got a nice little uh, storage system going on on the edge of the airport. Um, which is where this route passes and uh, we can actually see the stored aircraft which uh, belong to various companies. There's about eight, I believe, seven or eight from British Airways which are really visible. You can see the aeroplanes now, they looks like they're sitting on a road bridge but um, in fact they're not quite as close to the road as, as they appear to be. Uh, so I'm going to try and find somewhere to park uh, and I'm going to take my video camera and uh, see what I can capture.